As Fresno mourns the three lives lost in a deadly shooting this week, tonight new details emerge about Sacramento's connection to the shooter. We are all just really heartbroken by this tragedy and the fact that people have lost their lives. Today, police said the suspect is not a terrorist. They say he's a racist who laughed about the killings. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. Now we are hearing from his family for the very first time. CBS 13's Drew Bollea spoke with the suspect's cousin tonight from Sacramento and is live in the newsroom with more on this developing story. Drew. Well, Corey Muhammad grew up in Sacramento. He went to Grand High School and attended some classes at Kasumnas River College. And his cousin says that Muhammad was struggling with some mental health issues. He also says, uh, she also says that he had been negatively impacted by white people in the past and that those frustrations came out on Facebook and ultimately resulted in violence. When I first see it, it, it hurts because, you know, I'm not only seeing my cousin, but I'm also seeing him as the accused of taking another person's life. Sharice Kemp says things don't add up. She says the Corey Muhammad she knew growing up was into music and liked learning new things. Always smiling and being, like I said, just silly. Now he's behind bars. <laughs> Accused of carrying out a deadly shooting spree in Fresno. He's filled with hate and he set out this past week to kill as many people as he possibly could. One man was killed last week. Three others shot and killed yesterday. He had a hard go. A victim's mother in tears at a makeshift memorial earlier today. Very caring, very loving. The FBI is now involved, investigating the shooting as a hate crime. Three of the victims are white men. Police say Muhammad posted on social media a dislike for white people and wrote often about the conflicts between whites and blacks. Kemp says she recalled similar conversations with her cousin about difficulties that he had experienced. A lot of pain and frustration with prejudice and being uh, racially profiled. She says she never thought her cousin would act on his expressions and use violence. We are all just really heartbroken by this tragedy and the fact that people have lost their lives. Now she worries a cycle of hate will continue. Her family being harassed and threatened. We're targeted in something that was, um, we didn't take any part in. Now, Kemp stressed that her thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families during this difficult time. Meanwhile, another nugget to this bizarre story, police are searching for another man that they say Muhammad met with during that shooting spree. They believe that that man that he met with has the weapon. They haven't been able to recover it. Interesting development. Okay, Drew, we'll stay on top of things. Now, police say Muhammad